My name is David, I'm 29 years old from the Netherlands. A lot of my week was about uh, lifestyle coaching. I had a coach who would help me just basically sort out how I live my life, how I organize things, how I get the most out of my day, how to attain the things that I want to do in life instead of just pushing it forward all the time, just actually doing it. And then I had a lot of workshops about how to live through the heart, how to communicate from the heart instead of just thinking from the mind a lot of valuable knowledge about nature a lot of physical activities a lot of hard physical activities a lot of rewilding going into nature i've spent a couple of days just in nature finding our own food building shelter and all of that reconnecting with myself through meditation funny thing is I actually thought my life was just fine. I didn't really need anything to improve on. I was happy. I was doing my thing, traveling, enjoying life. But through the heart attack, I really discovered that there are things that I can improve on, that there are things from my past or even my present moment that I was unhappy about, somewhere below the surface. And it's really about finding that in yourself and changing it. And it's just such a relief. There's so many things that I understand now that I didn't even have attention to in the past and it's really, really changed me for the better. What stood out to me most about the heart attack program is how much control I have over my own mind. Normally my mind would just rattle on every day, it would distract me from what I wanted to achieve. Um, I would just get lazy and just not do the things I wanted or needed to do. And now I feel like I'm more in control of myself. I decide what to think and when not to think. I know when I need to do something, just get up and do it. Don't procrastinate. And just also give yourself the time to really enjoy life. Just to go out for a little walk, appreciate the outdoors, just talk to people more, communicate with people. Just sharing that happiness because it makes me feel more happy too. The greatest impact on me was a workshop about inner beliefs. How we seem to be rooted in certain beliefs. We perceive the world to be in a way it is. Sometimes these beliefs may be false, sometimes true. Sometimes they're helpful to you and sometimes not. And I've learned how to differentiate between what helps me and what doesn't serve me. And how to change what doesn't serve me so that it does work in my benefit. Yeah, the most challenging part about the heart attack was just being honest with myself about showing my true feelings to people instead of just hiding things that I'm uncomfortable with, just to be yourself, free of embarrassment or shame. Just connect with people on an open, honest level and in that way you're also being true to yourself by knowing what you want, what you don't want and following your heart. What inspired me most was a workshop about how to start your day. Usually we wake up and despite we wanting to do activities or we want to do something good or get to work early, we don't really take the time to appreciate those first few moments of the day. Instead of waking up and grabbing a coffee and going to work, I did a workshop that takes about an hour straight from when you wake up and it's just about quietly waking up through meditation, having a cup of tea and really enjoying it, doing a bit of stretching, listening to some peaceful music, talking to yourself, what do you want to achieve that day? And just take your time. And from there, you're fully awake, you're active, you're ready, and you still have a whole day ahead of you. And starting the day like that just makes every day so much more fun, so much more enjoyable and easy going. The biggest challenge is when I come home to stick up with these routines to keep this state of mind and not fall back into old patterns. 
So through the Heart Attack program, they made me write everything down so I can reflect back on everything, what I wrote, how I worded it, and just be consistent with myself. When I wake up, keep doing the things that I've learned here, keep having that same state of mind and really being aware of my thoughts and how I control them, how I live my life, what I've done here, maintain it throughout the rest of my life basically, no matter where I am, whatever distractions there are, I know I have that power in myself, that feeling, and I just keep doing it because I know it's in the best interest for me. I feel like the biggest improvement for me from before the heart attack and after is that I just feel more comfortable. I can be more comfortable with people, showing my true side, not feeling embarrassed or the need to put on the mask. If I if I'm not feeling all right, I'll just let people know. If I'm feeling happy, I'll show them as well. And yeah, just feeling much and much more relaxed. If I would have to describe it in one word, I would probably use purpose. I just feel like every day has a new set of purposes Every day there is something that I can achieve, something that I can improve on. There's always something to develop in myself or with the people around me. And I just feel like every day when I wake up, I just know what I can do, what I will do, and that I am going to do it. Anyone can do a heart attack. Whether you're young, old, whether you have a lot of physical capabilities or mental or you have limitations everyone can gain something from this because everyone can improve in aspects in their life no matter how big or how small if you are sitting at home and you think like oh my life is fine don't take fine go for great go for amazing I think at Rosemary they pretty much nailed it the heart attack program is all about empowerment if I would describe it in one word, that's the perfect word to say. Empower yourself.